Next step in our return to run program is gonna be jumping jacks. We need to be able to absorb shock and forces through our ankles, knees, hips, and low back um, without putting our pelvic floor in the middle of that and needing to help out. So jumping jacks, I wanna, I wanna make sure you've got a healthy hip hinge when you're shock absorbing each time. What I tend to see is people being very vertical and only absorbing shock moving their knees. So what I wanna see in your jumping jacks, I'm gonna show you from the side view, is here, and I've got some movement happening from my hips. Not doing this is what I see a lot. So if you need to do a three degree teeny tiny trunk lean forward in order to make sure you've got your hips moving. That's totally fine and I love that technique. So we can even be here. And that is still a better shock absorption technique than this. 